In my videos about older cars, you often hear me quoting performance numbers from magazines. They were always the most consistent resource, and the reason was simple. They used the best equipment, so you knew their results were highly accurate and repeatable. Times have changed, but one thing has stayed the same. The professional car testers like Car and Driver, Top Gear, and Motor Trend are seen as the leaders because they use the best, most accurate equipment to test their vehicles. So what do they use? The RaceLogic V-Box. The V-Box has been the leader in vehicle performance measurement, but it's not just used in print and television. Everyone from auto companies to race teams to tire manufacturers use them for the most precise vehicle performance data available. Just take a look at some of the folks who use V-Box. But RaceLogic doesn't just make great data collection hardware, they also make powerful software tools to capture critical data that racers use to improve their performance on the track, optimize their car, and even collect video footage to further bolster their knowledge. While I always dreamed of owning a high-end V-Box setup with the same accuracy that the pros have, I figured it was out of my reach. Well, I was wrong. When I heard about RaceLogic's V-Box Sport, I was instantly intrigued. After doing some research and talking with the folks at RaceLogic, I had to have one. So what is it? The V-Box Sport is a lightweight, portable, standalone data logger that can be used in any vehicle and environment to measure performance or lap times. That's the short version. Let's take a closer look. Inside the box you'll find the V-Box unit, a USB charging cable, a power adapter for in-car charging, a 2 gigabyte SD card, a mounting plate, and the owner's manual and circuit tools software preloaded on the SD card. The V-Box Sport is very compact and has a grippy rubber shell. It's light, but feels well built and solid. On the top are the power and record buttons, along with indicator lights for power, GPS satellite signal, Bluetooth connection, and SD card activity. On the back you'll find these labeled plugs for SD card, USB, and external antenna plug access. This design keeps dirt and water out and allows the V-Box to be used in all sorts of rugged conditions. So how does it work? It uses a highly accurate 20 Hz GPS engine, which is some serious horsepower. For comparison's sake, the iPhone's internal GPS engine is 1 Hz. This GPS power is why the V-Box Sport is so much more accurate than other devices or phone apps out there. It also has an internal rechargeable battery that offers six hours of use, so you won't have to worry about charging it all the time. But the coolest thing is when you combine the power of the V-Box Sport with your iPhone or other iOS device. RaceLogic has created two iOS apps specifically for the V-Box Sport that offer incredibly accurate performance data in a fun and easy to use interface. All right, folks, let's try it out. Our test vehicle today is my 2008 Lexus ISF. It's a great performance car that's loaded up with goodies like six-piston Brembo brakes with 14-inch cross-drilled rotors, a fast-shifting 8-speed transmission, and a 416-horsepower 5-liter V8 hiding somewhere under that engine cover. Here's what it sounds like. To set up the V-Box Sport in my car, I simply attach the unit to the suction mount and then clamp that mount onto my windshield. The suction mount feels really secure and holds the V-Box tightly in place and the angle adjustments allow for many types of mounting configurations. Once mounted, you simply turn it on and wait for the satellite indicator to change from blinking to solid. I have my iPhone paired with the V-Box Sport, which shows a successful connection by the solidly lit Bluetooth indicator light. Here's how that app looks when it's connected to the V-Box. It's as easy as that. Okay, it's time for a couple of test acceleration runs on our closed course. Here we go. As you could see from that run, the data records and displays in real time in the Performance Test app. You can also choose to record the data to the onboard SD card and analyze it later on your computer. 
I love the app because the results are presented immediately and comparing runs is very easy. The performance data is logically displayed and there's even a graph view. My best run was a 0 to 60 time of 4.6 seconds, an eighth mile time of 8.2 seconds at 91 miles per hour, onto a quarter mile of 12.6 seconds at 115 miles per hour. To make sure that I canceled out any elevation changes, wind, or other factors, I ran in the opposite direction too. Out of my four runs, my average quarter mile was 12.8 seconds at 112 miles per hour, with an average 0 to 60 time of 4.8 seconds. I've had this car to my local 8th mile track and the quarter mile track at Bristol Dragway in the past, and the numbers from the V-Box are only a couple hundredths of a second different than those runs. That's impressive. This was just a quick demo of how powerful the combo of the V-Box Sport and the Performance Test app really is. I'm just scratching the surface here, as you can also record braking data and perform 0-0 zero zero tests. With RaceLogic's Lap Timer app, you get accurate lap times and predictive lap times for your vehicle. You can also automatically select your track from RaceLogic's huge track map database using your current location. You can even create your own track or circuit. How cool is that? I think I'll set my route from my house to the grocery store and back as my own personal track. If you have an iPad or iPhone running iOS 6 or higher, you can download and check these apps out for free. The performance test app will only run in demo mode until you get a VBOX Sport, but the lap timer app can be used with the internal GPS on your iPhone or iPad, although it won't be nearly as accurate as when it's paired with the VBOX. For Android users, or as another option for Apple folks, the VBOX Sport is compatible with the popular Harry's Lap Timer app. RaceLogic also offers their diagnostic app, which can be used to check specific GPS data and other functions. Alright folks. It's time to give the V-Box Sport my patented extreme duty test. Here we go. In future videos, you'll see me using the V-Box Sport often. I plan to use this tool to test various performance modifications that we make in the Turbo Garage to get real-world before and after results. Also, I hope to take it along with me to a road course in the future so I can test the powerful Circuit Tools program and Lab Timer app. So keep an eye out for the V-Box in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.